this video, you'll compare how much money you make with how much you spend. To do this, you'll calculate income and expenses. Then, you'll create categories for each kind of expenditure, like rent, food, entertainment, and others. In the summary table, type income in a cell. In the cells beneath it, type expenses and balance. The balance is the total amount of money you have left after you subtracted all the expenses. Next, create formulas to calculate these totals. In the data you copied, there are separate columns for debits and credits. Debits are money that have been taken out of your account. Credits are money that have been added or income. Calculate the total amount of money you earn besides the income cell. Click the cell and type equals. Formulas always begin with an equal sign. Next, type sum. As you begin typing, an autofill menu appears. You can select sum from the menu. Select the cells to add up. In this case, it is all the cells in column E that are beneath the summary table. Select column E. Column E is highlighted and the formula reads sum E to E. This will add together all of the values in column E. To remove any values located in the summary table, use the formula bar to change the first cell reference to E12. Now, the formula will add all the cells in E12 and below. Close the parentheses in your formula and press enter. The spreadsheet automatically adds the values in the credits column. Repeat these steps for the debits column. In the cell besides expenses, type equals and sum. Type D12 colon D in the formula and close the parentheses. Check the highlighted column to be sure you are adding the right numbers. Great! Press enter to calculate your total expenditures. Now, create another formula to calculate the balance or the money you have left over after paying all of your expenses. In the cell besides balance, type equals and select the cell with the income calculation. Type minus and select the calculated expenses cell. Then, press enter. The amount you have left after expenses is now calculated in the cell. Great job! In the next video, you'll categorize your expenditures. Then, you'll use some if formulas to calculate how much you spent in each category. Now it's your turn. Create cells for income, expenses, and balance. Beside these, add a formula to calculate the total income, expenses, and balance. Then, move on to the next video to start categorizing the data.